hi guys welcome back to my channel how you all doing i believe you guys are all doing amazing as for me i'm doing great all right so if today is your first time of coming to my channel hello thank you for stopping by subscribe to my channel please look below you'll see a subscribe button subscribe to subscribe is free just click the subscribe button and you look at the other side you see the bell sign click the bell sign that bell sign is to tell you whenever i upload a video you get the notification all right without further ado let's get into the video said i'm gonna be addressing so many issues and this is more like a very serious issue and i want to address it properly so i wrote some stuff down so if you see me look down i just want to get my path structured very well and proper so I'm talking about addressing i'm addressing today's topic is addressing this work issues all right so of lately so many of you have been asking me about job is there a job in cyprus is there a job in cyprus can i work and everything and also if i know how to do that cc like i have to put the video on the screen i will do it but if it doesn't work out i'm going to put the link where i did an intensive um an intensive video about um, studying and working all right so i would say it again we have obviously three categories of students we have the undergraduate we have the masters and we have the phd all right okay so for the undergraduate this is how your school system works for um from nine o'clock to four thirty, some five o'clock. That's your school. That's the um class period. Like that's the duration basically. So most classes is always from nine o'clock. You sometimes you go all the way to four thirty. Sometimes you can close twelve. But the the max is from nine to four thirty. All right. So that being said with the duration that i told you and that is what is happening here in cyprus not cyprus um for an undergraduate you can necessary as in you can necessarily work during school sections okay why i say that is that you're going to school in the morning you're coming back in the evening so which time do you have to work that is the working time um however there is something like cinema bars all these other um stuff that open like all these other businesses that opens in the evening if you're fortunate enough to get a job an evening job in the cinema in the bar in the hotel like evening job i i, I know there is more of like bars bars and all these open air plays that they do something especially like this summer that is where you can get an evening job if you have that that that's very fine that is very good great okay so and if you can really work your ass out like after school you're going to work and i would like to say that if you're going to work in the evening definitely you should know that you're going to be closing around those 11 12 1 2 so it's going to be very very stressful for another graduate to be working and be schooling however this is what everybody does this is what the native does um international students both white both black both green everybody does this summer so right now so today is the 8th of june 2019 this is saturday okay some students are done with their exams and some other students are not yet done because of this holiday and everything probably next week they should be done and also they have to wait so the ones that are due to graduate they have to wait for their graduation ceremony and everything so this summer for students that are, that are still schooling this summer now from now to september you have this whole month to work so this is what we call summer here in north cyprus from this june right now to september you have this like this whole month to work so this is where undergraduate comes in like you can work and if you're fortunate to have a good job you have enough money to even pay your tuition fee okay and even some extra so this is a time that undergraduate works like this is where both the locals this is where they work if you don't want to do it the hard way which is not recommended this is where they work 
I hope for the students in general. There is this thing that I told you in my previous video, which I'm going to say it in this video. There is this thing that we do that happens here in North Cyprus education in schools here. There's something they call scholarship. So if your CGPA, you, you come here first semester and your CGPA is high from three point and above, there's only they have 25% scholarship, 40%, 50%, depending on your CGPA, there is somebody that actually had 100% scholarship. The, what the person just had to do was just only, not just one person, just to pay a registration fee and all those. Those are the things, because you're coming as a student, those are the things that you, sh you should be eyeing. Those are the things that you should be focusing on. Because imagine you getting 75% uh, scholarship, 100% scholarship, even 50% scholarship. It's is a real big deal because it's it cuts your cuts your cost a lot so those are the things that you're supposed to um aspire for i'm not uh, although I'm, I'm not i'm not in the position to tell you what to aspire for but those are some of the things that you one should be uh, secondly i'm going to be talking about masters for masters this is a higher level because you are doing your masters obviously so most of the schools that is their classes is always in the evening so they're about from 4 30 5 o'clock so let me say like you're working in the kind of place that i work we close 5 30. so um you can talk with your um lecturer or your boss whoever you feel that you can really talk with oh i have classes by five o'clock so i'll be closing like 30 minutes early from work something like that or you talk to your lecturer depending on your situation you get so you can definitely work and as, as a master student you can work from because you have the whole month because there is no classes you can work full-time work you can work even when you're in class if almost all your classmates are working all right they are all work, working except those ones on scholarship but all your classmates are workers they are they work all right so um for on for masters you can work all through then for phd obviously that's a higher level so you can work even phd even phd you you'll be opportune to even be a lecturer in your school that if you're smart and you know how to do your thing you can be a lecturer in your school because obviously you're doing phd so you're higher level so you can work so masters and phd you you can definitely work in north cyprus so this fact being cleared um most of you that have been following me before i introduced my, that have been following me before i introduced my agency and everything this has been my vlog channel this is my space where i do my stuff all right so that being said I am not this kind of person that can just change because of something new that is happening or I don't change with the weather. Like, um, I don't know how to explain it. I, I'm not this kind of person that changed. However, so people that followed me from the beginning of my video to now, I'm that same blessing that you know. So having an agency or introducing my agency, because I had it already, introducing my agency formally to you guys will not make me to change from who I am okay so i am this truthful pure straight person okay so if you want to have a genuine pure clean information you call with me you roll with me and i'll tell you everything that you need to know if you want lies you can look i don't know where they are because i'm not part of that so if you want lies you can flow with ever whoever you think you want to flow but if you want genuine thing you listen to me and you do what is rightful and what is proper to do you achieve your goals all right let me not sound as if i'm angry but i have to put it straight um i'm i'm gonna address this issue about job okay before that let me tell you something um i've i've noticed in most cases that people often want people that most people not everybody most people like people that lies to them that is the kind of people that really fall into their hands because I don't know for some reason I think those the kind of words somebody that you will call and for example you call the person and say oh in North Cyprus um as an undergraduate can you work say, oh hmm you can work um classes you don't even have classes so I don't know those are the kind of people probably some people 
want to listen to or want to look for you're not going to get it here i'm going to tell you the truth and the truth alone okay so i tell you how it is here because i'm on ground and definitely you're going to meet me so if i tell you something different what is it i have my reputation okay so i i can't i can't mix it up because of anything so i tell you what is it because of lately like let me just tell you the recent one today is the eighth on the seventh the recent one of course i know how to keep um confidentiality so i'm not going to call the person's name somebody buzzed me up from youtube i told the person okay get uh, go to uh, my youtube uh, to my email we said if we got chatting and everything not knowing that this person has already made um made an application and i don't know whether the person is looking for an information or the person is looking i don't know what exactly the person is looking because if you met an agent different from me or you're do you think you you can do it yourself and you're doing it yourself why are you coming to me it's of no use because my agency me right here me and my husband is to get fresh today that wants to study here we we, we do it from from the beginning the scratch stage to where you arrive here and you can fly like a bird that is the reason for agency even if our agency and other agencies other genuine agency that is the main reason and that is the main reason um schools um get in contact with agents and train you so that you can help students throughout the process that is the main reason of agent and this brings me to another of my um, points i didn't show you guys maybe in the next video because like i just came back from work and all of that in the next video i want to formally tell you guys for those of you that are interested and those of you that have been rolling with me now we've got an ad additional accreditation so we work with near east university we are satisfied agents with near east university and if you watch my near east video and you do your research near east is one of the best university in north cyprus here is one of the best you're gonna see it and that is it is what it is all right so we got accredited by the, the the school so we are full agents like we are satisfied agents with near east university all right so that being said the person was now like talking and talking and talking not until for we to get me and my husband because Sometimes I chat, sometimes my husband chat, we are the same, we are one person, like we are family. So, we now got to know that the person has already made an application and all those things. Like, what do you think as a, a human being, what are you feeling, what do you think we will feel? This leads me to another point again. Some of you guys, you tend to use somebody else or you do it yourself or something, and you get stuck, and you come to an agent you come to me and help to help you of course i will help you but let me tell you one thing is that is, is the, the truth is that the way the admission system is set up eh, as an individual except you have an information or except you your sister or somebody is already here that can tell you that that's already done it before apart from that you cannot really skate through it happens you can but you cannot really sketch you it's going to be so taxing because you put an you put your stuff and everything your documents and everything and they will now ask for something to modify something you don't even know what to do again at that point you'll be like oh i sent my document i sent everything so what else did they want because this is an institution so they get facts re uh, right they do things properly so maybe they are not satisfied with one of one or two of your documents and everything and they'll tell you this to modify you don't know exactly what they what what they're saying because you don't know you've never done it before so that is why agents that is why we are here to help you through all the system because we know what they need we we can if they need something please um some of you my students that got your conditional letter you can even comment down and say it because i asked some of you to send your scratch card some cv and all the rest of it you can attest to it to, tell, to say that it's true so that is how it is so if you think that you want to do it by yourself oh good and fine but in most cases one does skate through or it will take you a very long time that is what it is it is
you cannot just do it yourself. I'm not saying that you cannot, like, in terms of percentage, there is always many people that can do it themselves. And it's going to take you even slower. You, can, you have to be slower. And also, again, talking about this processing, the, some people that are a little bit, not, I'm not saying that everybody that are delayed is because of that. Some people that are delayed is because they have similar, um, uh, uh, um, similar issues. So it's better for you to come clean, do your thing, I do my thing, and we just skate through the whole thing without the unnecessary stress and everything. So that point being sorted out, let me read out what I, I wrote here. Okay, let me let, let me just finish this this thing. So let me read out what I wrote here. I said point number let me because the point has been much. I'm not gonna put the point because I obviously talk too much. I say you have to be here, you get a job. So talking about that experience, and it's not the only one, so many other ones. <laughs> let me tell you guys something. Somebody told me what is the minimum wage of uh, a Cyprus, and I said Google it for yourself, but I just set the minimum wage. And the person was like, the person um, snapped calculator and everything to me. Like, I know that everybody wants to um, come abroad and in most people's minds, not everybody because I can't, I can't generalize it. Most cases, people that, students that come in, whether you come as a student, whether you come as anything, you're looking for an opportunity, you're looking for a brighter future, but you do not take it to the extreme because when you take it to the extreme and when you're desperate, that is when you meet the wrong people on the way because you're desperate. How will you start telling me like it's not one person, like you want to know how much, how much, how much, how much. I don't, I don't own a company here. So if I tell you how much I'm being paid now, so you have that uh, frame of mind that when you come over here, you're going to be paid that amount. And when you come in, you do not see that kind of a situation. Because I've stayed here, I've paid my dues, okay? Or you come and you get a higher one. And you say like, oh, she's lying or something. Like the, the intensity of, especially the, 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 the male uh, 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 student. Job, 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 job. I am not uh, a, 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 an employer yet. I'm not a job recruiter. I don't recruit uh, uh, people for job. I do student, like I bring student, people that wants to study from their home country, follow them all through the process and they land here and they study. Then, but I, I, I definitely have to understand your needs that you want to help yourself, you want to have a brighter future. Of course, that's the reason why I'm here too. But that being said, you don't just put job, job. I never said that I'm, I'm, a, I'm a job agent or I'm a job, job recruiter agent. No, I'm a student agent. I bring students. I bring, I use my platform to tell and other things that I do to, to tell people about the schools here in North Cyprus. And when you come as a student from there, you expand your horizon. You fly high, as high as possible that you can fly. Please, I want to correct this thing because sometimes it just look weird. Do you, you'll be like, how much is the minimum wage? How much is the, some of you have not even like I don't want to go into the how much is the uh, minimum wage? How much is the minimum wage? You don't put these things in front. If not, you're gonna get disappointed or something. I say it at its as as it is. Okay? Because it's somehow like I when I look at some people, like I was like, hmm, you're gonna enter the wrong hand and you're gonna regret. Asking me minimum wage, putting money in the, this thing. Yes, the money is there, but okay. I want to ask, how can you get a job without coming first to the country that you that you want to come, you want to get to before you get the job? Are you going to have a job from your home country? It doesn't work that way. If anybody is promising you that way, please follow those people. I've never seen such situation because you're not a prof. As in, I've never seen that case, and I, I don't want that kind of thing to be in my chain. I'm sorry. I think I'm sounding a little bit, but I'm just being straightforward. How do you expect to have a job when you're not here in North Cyprus yet? Job. You have to be here first, then you now sort out for a job and have a job. You cannot have a job from your home country. Neither can you start asking me questions from where you are as you're asking me job, 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 job. I, I don't own a company yet in North Cyprus. 
So am I going to be the one to employ you? If I, if you want me, as in, what do you want me to say? That should be corrected because that's not the way to go about it. You come as a student, you see the opportunities, you help yourself from there. The good thing that I always tell you guys, okay, because me, I was in Philippines, I was in Asia before I came here. There is no such thing like that. Like, there is no hope. That's the difference between Cyprus here and for my own experience, not Cyprus here and um, Philippines. Because as, as in, in Philippines, there is no hope. Like, you're just coming to study. And it doesn't work like that for foreigners, for, 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 for foreign students. We have we always want to have something in our pocket. I don't want this video to be long. So those questions about job, 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 job should be kind of um, watch this video and get the right information. All right, guys. So now I'll be talking about agency. So like I told you guys, we have an agency here in North Cyprus. We are agents bringing students all over the world to North Cyprus, to North Cyprus. And I wrote down here, let me just read it so then I will not explain. I said the reason for our agency. Then I also said to help students throughout the process. Then throughout the process, I digress also to stage by stage of the process. So the reason for agency, that was that's the reason why schools over here created the space for agents like us to help them facilitate and mobilize students to come over to school there because there is a there is a process about as in there's a process that you have to go to and we are we are educated to know the process and to make it more easy so that's why we are working with the school directly so i said the, the main reason for agent is to help you throughout the process of your admission process and everything is to help you because as an individual you can't really necessarily do it yourself do do that so minute case of people that can do it themselves but it's very rare okay all right so digressing to the stages of, all right so digressing to the stages of the process there is step by step let me just um bring it in a nutshell because i have to keep some things for myself because i'm urgent and you have to come to me to do everything so i'm just going to just do it in a nutshell so there's a stage whereby this one that i'm publicizing to you guys and you come over you meet me then we finish your stuff with the school and everything you get your conditional acceptance letter you pay your tuition fee and you're fully accepted now as a, as a prospective student a new student to the school you're fully accepted okay the next stage now is the visa you have to go through all the visa process we are here it's like let me see let's speak for ourselves we will take you through the process tell you the necessary things that you need to do to get your um yourself ready for your visa of course you go and get your visa but you have to do it the right way so that's the reason why we're here then after that stage now whoo we've got your visa the next stage now obviously you'll be thinking of um which airline am, am I going to take? Like um, flight fare to come to to North Cyprus here? You'll be thinking if you're not like if you don't know what to do, you might go and take a very expensive one. Why there's an affordable one? So that stage is there. Moving forward again is accommodation because when you come here, you have to have an accommodation, of, of, obviously. So accommodation here. So let me tell you something about this accommodation because I wrote down accommodation and um right here it's just that um linda is not really uh, she's busy so she can't really come every day to my house i'm gonna live very far when i did linda's accommodation with her landlord the duration was just one week and some few days the um the the landlord was even resisting to um make the date like the date okay I, I said oh linda is coming as so so date let me say for example today that is eight oh linda is coming on the 20th please i'm paying your uh her rentage now make it but you have to write in the receipt on the 20th do you know that it took us like discussion like for go on, as in we were just talking and trying and talking and talking until until you accept. So for those of you that want um, accommodation and everything that I told you to pay, now we are just in June. So 
if you want accommodation probably you're coming in august ending or you're coming in september we know the right time that is that is good for you guys to come as in for the accommodation uh, process to start because not no landlord who, who okay right now students are just now nah, there, there's a little bit of house ready but after graduation that graduation will be from this month this june end or ending of july then probably you send me your money and i pay accommodation from july the landlord will leave his house so till september it doesn't work that way they want to accept even one week they're trying to or two weeks they're trying to crack brain with you then talk was of you want to you want to pay now and keep it for um august or september or some so they even come october so it doesn't work that way when i tell you guys to do it this way do this way. that this is the really this is the essence of our agency to put you through on everything when is the right time or like okay you can pay now because you can actually come in agreement with the, with, with the landlord and say okay the student is coming in september august ending so we want this date but not as far as june all right so and the next stage again is when you arrive you need somebody to pick you up from the airport all those things are the processes of our agency so from the beginning from the starting stage to the end so i believe i've informed you guys more in details about everything please stop asking me about jobs 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 i don't have a company here yet and you don't you can't have your you can't have a job from your home country you, you have to be here first to sort yourself out yes so i believe this has been very informative to you guys lastly i would like to say to the good ones because i just wanted to address the situation it's not like it's everybody but the specific people so i just wanted to address and maybe their kind that will be coming in the future just to address it so thank you all for your support thank you so much i really really do appreciate and i'll keep appreciating you guys for your support thank you so much for supporting this week i didn't tell you guys today is the eighth this week has been holiday next week everything will take shape and more letters will be re released as a more um acceptance letter will be released and i hope to see more of you over here all right so to those of you that are interested in coming to study here in north cyprus my email is already on the screen contact me through my company email through my personal email contact me and i will tell you how you can go through all the process and find yourself as a student here in north cyprus so Keep the email rolling. Keep everything rolling. I'm so appreciative. Let me just say a bonus fact. I'm planning, depending on the amount of students that comes here, I'm planning on doing something or a kind of, um, how they call it, orientation. Though your schools, schools does that, but uh, we are planning on something. Uh, it's not really, really like, it's not 100%, but it's something that I'm working on. So, we'll see how it will be so we'll orientate you even further because once you land here in north cyprus that's the 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 end of our deal but we won't take it a, a, a one step further but let's see how it's good I'm, I'm not promising but that is what i'm actually working on all right guys i believe this video has been informative to you guys keep the email rolling and i will see you guys in my next one bye now